escalated quite quickly. To the more toting downside to entice you with more about this short documentary film, it is based in the city Moscow in Russia. This film is a way of reducing its city carbon emissions and strengthening alternatives so to avoid the big surge of climate change in the next 50 years. Moscow is a city that is central to absolutely everything around it, from railway lines to roads, all meeting at one point in the middle. It is a medieval fortress, as some say, built on the amazing architecture that it has, and has two the most fastest growing tourist attractions throughout the world. Moscow is even the center of parliament for government in Russia. It is the resident to Russia's current pres president. So looking at carbon emissions, it usually starts with the non-renewable resources, such as coal and fossil fuels. Does Moscow involve itself with these usages, based on the large population? While using my four factors based on s stabilization of wages, I focused on cutting carbon emissions by electricity production, heating and direct fu fuel use, mobilities, meaning transport, and bio storage. In these four factors, there are about 15 more ways of cutting carbons, but I will tone it down to a way of one understanding how the alternatives can be strengthened. In my theory based, Moscow's population has increased over the years. About 100% of the population in Moscow has access to electricity. So in my first wedge theory, the alternative is electricity. What is the alternative for electricity? The alternative in my case is hydroelectricity power, meaning using waves and currents to create a form of electricity, as well as wind power surge. Moscow can use this by using the river Moskva as a source of the hydroelectricity. The wind surge Moscow can build this through the infrastructure or near its parks surrounding Moscow. This may even create a bigger influence of becoming eco-friendly. And you know what could be powerful in this? Russia's government playing a role by putting more market manipulation in line by making people use less of coal, gas and nuclear power to swapping over to alternatives such as hydroelectricity and participating in that, making it more known as a usage. The climate change is drastic on Moscow based on the fact that Moscow is becoming less and less stable. They become experiencing a lot of high temperatures and one would think Moscow is under constant cloud and rain cover. The infrastructure in Moscow has barely been seen with trees nearby only on the outskirts by the parks. These are specific green zones that Moscow has created. But my alternative is building more bio storages within the infrastructure, building trees or greenhouses on top of each infrastructure or skyscraper to at least have some fresh air and CO2 conversions. This may be a standard of eco-friendly and better air for human beings. This too may be a way of lessening the hot temperatures based on the heat islands that Moscow may receive based on the fact that there is no trees in an infrastructure of the mega city. The major part of my alternative is the fact that Moscow deals with the largest forms of mobility meaning they experience the worst traffic throughout the whole world. The only way that I can think of alternating this is by changing the fuel in cars to a biofuel, a more eco-friendly substitute that may help reduce the carbon emissions in the morning and early hours. One may say, oh, why doesn't the population rather take public transport? The thing is, the most of the population does. With another factor, and a crazy idea that I may have, there could be a way of changing various employment times so people from certain areas or people for certain jobs can go a certain time to work 
and may intervene and avoid large times of being stuck in traffic. This could be a way of government influential. With government influential, these factors could probably mean having a job that is in an 80 kilometer radius to avoid being stuck in traffic. This could be reducing the ways of transport efficiency. This may be stated as an idea and or moving a business to a much more neutral area in order to make it much more easier for the population to travel, have people at work and actually be self-sufficient with that. I know it is the most amazing part of Russia, of Moscow, is that almost everyone has been employed. It has the most lowest rate of unemployment, about at least 1% of people that are unemployed in Moscow. And this also plays a major effect in transport mobility. So I'm hoping my alternatives might have been reached through the four main bases of my wedge theory, and maybe it can be strengthened. Maybe this is the way of being strengthened. I don't know. Do you know? Even though Moscow is an, an amazingly green city and using eco-friendly fuels, there is one way of advertising it more for its country and city to use it much less with non-renewable sources and focus on the alternatives. And why not sharing it with the world as well? So my short film has come to a lovely end and I hope you enjoyed the snippets from Alex, the amazing drone and aerial photographer to get a better view of Moscow and understand my hypothesis about lessening carbon emissions and creating a much more even greener Moscow. I hope you have been entertained by it all. Thank you.